Boss and Decepticons, welcome back to Rollout Nation, and yes, here's the video that I have been wanting to do today, and that is my TF5 theory video about the Star Saber, Onslaught, and Alpha Trion. So, um, again, this is all theory, and this is uh, taken from the source from jublue.com's, you know, exclusive scoop video that we talked about. This is, if you guys want to know where I'm taking my inspiration from this theory from, it's from that video. I'll leave a link in the description below to that video. And if you guys want me to talk about that video, go check out my video that I talked about called Transforms 5 Plot slash Character Details Leaked Video. Go watch, check that out. But anyway, let's get down with this theory. So, uh, if you guys don't know, my first theory video was about Star Seekers how uh, they found on Rekgar's uh, car mode, you see like a Star Seeker logo, but apparently that's kind of false, I don't know, but um, here's my other theory for, because what we mainly talked about in that video was uh, Bumblebee's, you know, you know, the Autobots on Earth story. We didn't really talk about much about Optimus Prime story, so here's a story that I think that's going to happen in the uh, in Transformers the last night. So, um, and some other people already made this theory up too, but I'm going to uh, care to elaborate on it a little bit more. So, um, so we do know that Optimus Prime is going to find his creators. He's going to go find the creators somewhere. We don't know if it's Cybertron or we don't know if it's uh, Quintessa, you know, the Quintessence planet. We don't know where where they are and where he's going. And but a lot of people are saying it's Cybertron, so it's safe to assume it's somewhere along those lines. So, um, what if he, uh, you know, he goes to Cybertron and uh, he meets his creators and uh, they uh, told him that, like, like somebody tells him that there's a way to fix your planet. There's a way to fix your planet. And um, they'll give them that information if they deliver the sword that a Transformer from their past took from them. And that is the Star Saber. Because, if you guys don't know, the Jublu mentioned about um, an old Transformer giving... King Arthur's, you know, people, Mer the person named Merlin, like, magic powers. I believe, if they if they are sticking with that, I believe the old Transformer would be Alpha Trion. And, uh, why? Because it makes, it would make sense for the story, and, uh, also if my theory works, like, you know, Vokinus Prime's going to Cybertron, he meets his creators, the creators will let, will revitalize their, his planet if they get the Star Saber back from Alpha Trion. So it's like a hunt, basically. And uh, he has like, I don't know, like t 24 hours to deliver it. There's three parts to it. He has to go find the other parts. He's got to go find the other, this part and the other. And uh, basically, and if he doesn't find it, if he doesn't find it, he will have to pay very big consequences, and which are that he might have to go to the dark side. You know, like the Nemesis Prime Theory. We'll talk about more about the Nemesis Prime Theory tomorrow. Because I want to kind of talk about it. If it's true or not. And, uh... Or, he has to, uh, you know, like... Give up something, you know. But... That would be interesting if they do that. Take notes. If you... T please tell me if this is... Like, the Star Saber will be introduced. Because I would love to see the Star Saber. That would be interesting. Now... So that's the Octus Prime story. Now let's go to the Bumblebee story. I would like to, uh, you know, I first said it could be Star Seekers. I still stick with it that it could be Star Seekers if they want to do the whole old story route with, you know, like pirates and knights and stuff like that. But if they aren't, then maybe they're going to go with, uh, what if they introduce to us uh, Onslaught? Now how would you, they do that, you may ask? Well, maybe Galvatron needs to figure out a way to get into the Autobots new base and because of that there's these new forces that are working with the Autobots and this new Decepticon that Galvatron creates 
takes on the form of one of these cars and now is secretly it, working with the Autobots when he is actually a Decepticon. Now I know we've heard this before about Decepticon spies, but you know if they want to do it, maybe do Onslaught. That'd be interesting. Or if they want to go completely G1 and they can do the the Transformers, you know, spies that they did in G1. But um, I highly doubt that they would do that. But um, yeah, Alpha Trion. Uh, what Alpha Trion? What? How would Alpha Trion play into the story? Um, maybe because they mentioned a little bit about an old Transformer. Maybe the Autobots on Earth find Alpha Trion, revitalize him, and then they tell them that, that story about the Star Saber, and now it's like a race against time to like to get the Star Saber. And then Galatron learns about it, and you know, like he wants more power. So, you know, it puts everybody together. You know, it puts everybody together. So, so that's it. That's my theory about the Star Saber, Alpha Trion, and Onslaught. So. Uh, if you guys agree with my theory, leave a comment down below, and if you guys have a theory of your own, let me know. So, also go check out my Google Plus page. I just uh, I created an official photos area, so each time that an official photo or something new comes out about Transformers: The Last Night, that's gonna be on my Google Plus page. So make sure you go check it out. I do post do post stuff there, and uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We are Rollout Nation, and we always roll out. See you next time.